Hello, people on YouTube. This is Caffeine Jedi. I am outside in a nearby park to where I live, but not the new place yet. I haven't moved. Construction is taking long, but so is life sometimes. I prefer my house to be done correctly than half ass and quick, which is fine. Um, I was thinking to myself uh, today, I was on a Facebook group forum thing, which was called the British Actors Network Ban. And um, I'm a member of this because I figure, well, it's a good place to find actors. But to be honest, whenever I'm on that site, I always think these actors are the most whiny fucks ever because they're always bitching about how dare people ask for unpaid work. And not that I, I, I don't like not paying people. And, and that's just like this catch-22 of being an indie filmmaker is that you don't have the money to pay people to work and you hope that people will do it for the love of it because essentially that's what I do it for. I do it just for the love of it. I don't expect some huge financial reward. Though, should a big financial reward come, it would be really nice. <laughs> um, but that's kind of the sad reality that is being a filmmaker with no, no one backing you besides your sweet fiancé. And, and it sucks because you can't do like all the things you'd love to do and film is so goddamn expensive and you don't really realize how many little things accumulate. For one, it's fairly standard practice that you have to cater to the crew or feed the crew or something like that. And, you know, it seems easy enough, you know, but when you have like about 15 people on set every day, it starts to accumulate. Along with that, there's, you know, you pay expenses, so if an actor have to, has to come in from a different city, you'll pay, or crew too, also. Uh, you pay for their expenses. And this is not to say that, you know, I want people to work for free for me, because I don't. That's not what I want. Um, I want to make money. I want to be successful. I want to be able to pay everybody and and keep this going and have fun making film. And, and that's my dream essentially I, I want that so much but you know you have to prove yourself and in order to prove yourself you have to do film and then in order to do film you need money and this whole cycle that just happens and goes and goes and uh, and I, I feel really really bad for a lot of actor buddies I have and a lot of the beginning crew people though the crew people could do corporate a lot easier and corporate's just what you do to make money apparently it is that's what I hear from everybody is that you do corporate to make money and so here I am, sitting, trying to figure out how I'm ever going to make money out of this, being stalked by a tiny pigeon. I have no food, pigeon! I have no food! That's right, walk in the opposite direction. Please don't poop on me. Don't come back for poop. And yes, it's, it's quite a conundrum, to be sure. Now, the thing about releasing things online, you know, independently, is that... As much as I adore YouTube and all this jazz that is YouTube, YouTube ad revenue is garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. So no matter how good something, let's say you put out something that makes like a million something hits, a video or something, unless you're like like literally hitting that constantly, you'll just never make any money from it, and if, especially if you add any actual production value into anything. If anyone knows anything about film, it's, you know, you know micro budget, uh, low budget and there's like different scales like that and I was on a micro budget which by the way is still really expensive and yeah I don't know why I'm, I'm thinking about it right now but I'm thinking about how to solve this problem ah <sighs> sorry to whine to you guys I, I guess I'm here to, to also show you where I live ain't it pretty well people on YouTube I leave this for right now I'll show you something cooler next time. Sunday roast. Let's do that video next, alright? See you guys.